Good morning. I have two sweet stories today. One from the United States and this one from Sweden. It's a small town in the south called Oskarshamn. Uh, politicians there, they were talking about immigrant women. What to do? A lot of them don't have jobs. Right? So they wanted to do something to help them. And then they came up with this bright idea. Let's get them a driver's license. Yeah, that will make it easy for them to get a job, see? So they picked 12 of them, Arab-speaking ladies in uh, this town. And uh, of course, this was paid by the taxpayers, right? So they went, all went through the training to get a driver's license. And uh, there is a practical part. Uh, you have to show that you can drive the car. And then it's the theory part, right? So from these 12 women, three of them actually passed the theory part. Yeah. But none of them passed the practical test. So none of them got the driver's license. This little project, this little sweet project was done in, I mean, two years ago. And today none of them have a job. Now, the towns, politicians, they say this project was a success. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> Because, uh, you know, these women, they got to know something about the job market. <laughs> right, so this was a success. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, here's the sweet story from the United States. It's about Joe Biden. Now, Joe Biden, I think, he's got a very good relationship with media. So he wants to assist them, right? They are helping him, he wants to help them. So when they ask questions, he wants to answer them, of course. And he doesn't see a problem. You see, of course he's brilliant, he believes he's brilliant. I mean, he won the election, he's the president, right? So he doesn't see that there could be a problem. So he's, uh, he just keeps answering these questions. But people around him, have pleaded with him not to do it. I don't think he understands why. <laughs> so, yeah, they told him not to, to answer questions from media. And then I saw this. White, ha White House staff, when they are watching these press briefings on television, they mute the television. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would you do that? Well, I suppose because it's embarrassing and they are anticipating something to happen or some, you know. <laughs> well, uh, finally, I want to tell you about this. Uh, Swedish women, every year, they go to check for breast cancer at these test centers, right? And uh, now these people working at these test centers, they are alarmed, actually, about the new side effects from the shot that they found with these people. Yeah, this, this is a clear trend. So, a new side effect, basically. So they check for breast cancer and then they see that they, these women, a lot of them, have swollen lymph nodes. You know, under your armpit you have these lymph nodes and it's a clear trend. Yeah. Now, uh, this was reported in mainstream media, one of these outlets, and I noticed something about myself that I don't like. <laughs> no, uh, when I see mainstream media reporting on a story like this, I get optimistic. And I shouldn't be really optimistic, you see. I know that these media outlets, they reach quite a few people still, right? So I want people to know what's going on, right? But uh, th these media outlets, they, they are totally useless. 
You see, I shouldn't care about this at all. But still, I, I can't help it. I sort of care about it still, you see. So I made this decision. From now on, I will just not care about mainstream media whatsoever. Even if they wrote the truth every day, you know, I wouldn't care. We don't need them. Of course we don't. Well, they are the owners are pals with the same guys who own the um, drug companies, you know. They are best friends, or they are the same people. So why would you care about them? All right, that's all. Be good.